guess that's Briggy going in the garage trying to steal food. Anyway, and, uh, yeah, Briggy's uh, the hungriest dog I've ever seen. And you have to exploit that. I'm not going to be able to fix that. That's just who she is. So, anyway, what we've got is Great Dane, Invisible Age. I'm, I'm just beyond discouraged. Every time I see a video of somebody in a field with a line, it's... Uh, no, I'm beyond discouraged. I, you know, I, are there... People in other professions that are, that other people that are trying to deal with I don't even know. Are there people that still use typewriters, that people look at them and say, how awful people in that profession. Hello, Shy. Hi, Lucy. You know, it's just, honestly, to me, it can't make any more sense. And I don't, you know, that's why I just honestly, if, if I try to help somebody, and then I still see them supporting somebody that uses constant. I can't be friends with them anymore because it's like, you know what they're doing is wrong. Do you honestly feel like, you would have to feel like I was wrong and this person had some skill level with constant that was so far over my head, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So let's just support their use of constant knowing. They're hitting it too high. Anyway, this is my 280C, and I'm understanding now, Chelsea's really looking into it, but, you know, if they're feeling, if they are, have sensors in their jaw to detect vibrations, if you said every animal has an organ in their body that can detect that, and, you know, if that's why people's hearts hurt and all these things, because that's, you know, detecting these vibrations sense and I do understand now that their ears are very very wired to cause them to react to me. Uh, remember this is the dog that doesn't like to get the collar on. I will tell you the important part is make sure it's got the top on. If you do it without the top on then they just squish it. This one of course had crystal light in it so now it looks this. Okay so what I want to deliberately gone. There couldn't possibly be any ritual involved. Hi, Lucy. I hope everything's good. You know, it's, that people can't understand wireless communication. Do you think people a hundred years ago said, oh, they'll still be doing this a hundred years from now. They, won't even, they still won't be able to figure out how to keep these things with them. <laughs> Hell no. They'll claim it's their best friend, but they'll keep it on a rope. move in my direction. You don't need a pager for that. If you said, well, what's the pager going to do? It's going to augment the hell out of it, but, you know, you don't need the pager for that. I've got very specific enough. If you're going to train dogs, you better be like America's Next Top Model. You better know how to hold your hand. You better know how to hold your body so that you can say various things. If your body says one thing, I'm coming at you. Well, stop listening. Anyways, I haven't said anything yet, but I can add my pager, and I want to do it in the context of speed. Is he? I want to turn. And the cha cha cha. Try to do it step by step by step. All right, our feet are together. Step, step, up. We're in the opposite step, though. And being for going forward, too, though. Step, step, step. When I'm doing it like that, when I'm doing it, I, I understand it is a language now because when I'm making it go back, I'm going jump, jump, jump. 
And when I'm making it go forward, you can listen. I think you can hear it. That's, that's saying go. This is saying stop or back up. That says go forward, back up, go forward. Stop. Back up. Go forward. And, you know, all I'm saying on that turn, and that's why it is, I understand that now, Mike. All I'm saying on that turn is go faster. That's what, that's what the turn is. It's just saying go faster. This is not even necessarily saying turn. Just go faster right then. She's got that boundary. If she gets to the end of the lead, you better have a light line on one of these. All right, let me get my bottles, though. I don't want to wear her all out. But if you said, well, what would be worst case scenario? Worst case scenario would hit the end of the leash. I've already got the reflex of the dog moving back in my direction. Worst case scenario, it would be like that, uh, and I'm going to get him out here in a little bit. I think you're going to be amazed how well he's doing. And I'm going to tell you one thing. If you're going to train these bully breeds, you better make sure you get a fast recall. That's what you better work on. I know I sound like a broken record, but if you don't, they don't go fast. And if they do, show me these videos, because all the recalls I see on these pit bulls, they've got pinch collars and long lines and the dogs sitting there half droopy and then they tell it's come i'm not seeing they're operating at the velocity if you said they are just slightly faster than other dogs i'd say oh no that would be selective breeding to you know lightning reflexes is required okay so look oh oh these are the new footstools i got too these were on sale at Publix. I want you to expect by this time next year, again, it'll be three stories. But again, this represents my, I could maybe even use it as a basket. Yeah, she's scared of it though. She might do it though. She's seen this movie before. That's how soft of a temperament there. You know, all you have to do, if you said, well, what would you, what, what could you do to make it never do it again? Oh, make a loud noise or something right when it went over there. I'm decidedly not looking at her. back at, I won't tell you, she looked back at me, that's why she went back over there, she's going to do it now, that footstool's sturdy, it's not going to, it's not going to move, and then she won't get scared, oh boy, it moved a little bit, you said what did I do, I totally changed my mouth from a smile to, I'm kind of like this. Oh, Peter. Oh, here, Peter. Peter gets treats for nothing. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna just going to change it real quick. Because I'm not trying to challenge the dog stuff to do. Yeah, I'd hardly. And then I'm right away adding that. Anytime I am going away, I add that, that, I add that so that I can imply later I'm going away if I need to. Oh boy, now it rolled away. She's going to have to go find it now. She halfway looked. Let's see if I can get her to do it just by look. No, she saw it. Yay. 
Even right there, though, I'm kind of turning away. I mean, it's all the subtleties, you guys. It's all the subtleties. Just be ready. If it would have fallen, I would have had my hand moving. All right, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just add a little bit of distance. She's looking down there now, and I do see Mike. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should just buy any little footstools if you like. Well, I think we need to tell people you've got to have some kind of plan in the beginning to have some behavior of the dog moving away from you, so that you don't end up with what was that thing? Those people have the Velcro dog. My body's angling away. Now, in the distance, I spot a wayward bottle. So the yay totally changed. It was kind of Ahab and then, you know, then Ahab's in your mouth. It sounds crazy. All right, well, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, let's do it one more time. So that's the drill. If I add a distance, I say maybe if you were thinking of it that way. Well, I added distance, so I removed one object. Not just because you couldn't find one like me. But I'm not telling you to do anything. But I'm adding that. Oh, this one's falling for it, too. worked out perfect. Even right then though, I think it's important to have your hands in. Alright, we can do one more drill. You know, and that's what you would think of. You know, you could put, and you said, well, if you got this drill, and then you've got a different drill. Well, you can combine those, then you got an exercise. I think you need to, anytime you've got an intention, show that with your body language and you're only helping yourself. They, they can't, once they're getting a read on something, you know, unless you're really going out of your way to be awful, once they're getting a read on something, I mean, that's how I am. If I see one getting ready to do something, well, I'm seeing that's what it's getting ready to do. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. But these dogs are, they're very sensitive. You know, and obviously if you said who's going to, you know, benefit the most from this intelligent sensitive dogs you know are going to be the easiest to train with this you know obviously I don't even like to use the word stubborn but fortified dogs dogs that are fortified they're gonna be hard no matter what method you use but these things are honestly I mean if a gun went off right now this thing would be and nose and there's three of them that get scared in this home I'm sure you've seen this before kind of turns the other ones into chicken livers with its chicken liver behavior and then the owners don't help and then pretty soon you got a pack of chicken livers at your house I think you need to always be testing how much have I got going with me all of this is a default I can add the words I realize how unimportant they are now your job is to be able to get that leash on with that and that dog understanding That's your move. But if you haven't done that, if you said, if you told me there's a better way to get this. You've got to say to yourself, if you don't have, if, 
if you have no ability to have the leash right here, uh, and I'm just leading it with my body language, the leash, there's my pager, uh, which I can speed her up. You know, and I'm bending it. I'm bending it. And if you said, well, how's that going to help it? That's going to help it when I do the recall. It already has that bend in its body. Oh, she's big. You, I, I can't envision myself yanking this dog on a paw. I can't envision where that would... Very, very maneuverable. They're very light on the leash anyway, because they're tall. Same thing. I'm, you started looking at my hand. Oh, she was giving me the checks and balances. All right, guys. Oh, thank God. The punishment's over. I just feel so guilty. Twice. Maybe I think it might go by the length of the video. I'd uploaded that video before, though. Eh, look what happened. So, but a long time ago, though. In fact, I'll go find it and share it again. Oh, that might get me kicked off again, though. I better not do anything. All right, you guys. I'll be right back.